So I really don't even know how to open up this video because there is just so much confusion and so many different emotions I'm feeling because apparently David Vondahar was asked to disconnect himself from Call of Duty by someone who he has respected. There was no other indications on who this person could have been, but more than likely it was someone over up at Activision. And like I said, I'm confused for sure, but at the same time, I don't know if I should be feeling sad, mad, happy, glad, or, or what because we're coming up on the tail end of Black Ops 4 here and we actually don't even know what he means by disconnect. Like, does that mean he's not going to have anything to do with Black Ops 4 in general? Or does this mean he's not going to be able to tweet about the game? Like, there's just so much confusion with these tweets. Um, for sure though to say and assume that David Von Dehar is not working at Treyarch anymore is completely false because that is not confirmed at all yet. So if there's YouTubers that you're watching already that are saying that he's left Treyarch and he's working for another studio or another studio is going to hire him, that's just all completely false. It's all fake news because like I said, we don't know what, what they mean by disconnecting from Treyarch and Call of Duty. Um, so yeah, just wanted to clear that up with you guys. But I also want to talk about the future of Black Ops 4 and what this could mean. Because going forward, without having your lead developer connecting with fans, replying to feedback, etc., then that could potentially be an issue. But what I'm interpreting from the tweet is that Vaughn was just asked to separate his personal life from his COD work. Maybe we could see him interact more with people on the Black Ops 4 subreddit. But again, to just say and assume that he is not working at Treyarch right now is completely false because we don't actually know what is going down over there. But then afterwards, Von der Hart did get a little political by voicing his opinions on America's president, calling him a bunch of uh, choice words too, I guess you can say. And then shortly after, his Twitter account got deleted, which I found to be really the only weird thing out of all of this. But then a few hours later, he got his Twitter account up and running again. But still, as I'm sitting here recording this video, there is still no comments from Activision or Treyarch on Von der Haar's role going forward. But apparently the last Black Ops game that Vaughn has worked on was Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and then Blackout Battle Royale for this year, which was pretty shocking to me when I first heard this. And some are saying, well, that's why Black Ops 4 multiplayer really hasn't done too well as expected. But to be honest, I think Black Ops 4 really isn't that bad of a game. It's just the microtransactions have ruined the game for me and a lot of other fans. Like, I mean, charging fans 20 or $30 for just a melee weapon is absolutely absurd and that just turns me off from not wanting to play multiplayer anymore which is why I mainly stick to blackout but it's not even just that there's other little changes with the game that really turn me off from playing multiplayer a lot and then I didn't think Black Ops 3 was that bad either but even though Vaughn has gotten tons of unnecessary hate recently and in the past I truly do think he's created two of the best Call of Duty games ever. Black Ops 1 is arguably the best Call of Duty game ever created, and Black Ops 2 is within the top five of best CODs ever made too, and some even rank Black Ops 2 as the best game ever made. So, in my humble opinion, I don't think he's a bad developer at all. In fact, if you were to create a Mount Rushmore of Call of Duty developers, he's arguably the very first person you'll put on that list of greatest Call of Duty developers. So. I'm not trying to make assumptions and jump to conclusions. This was just my explanation on the entire situation. Again, I don't think Von der Haar was fired or asked to let go from Treyarch. I just think that he's going to be separating his thoughts and opinions about Black Ops 4 on Twitter and, and just separate that, you know, work life from his personal life on Twitter. So that's just my thoughts, guys. Please tell me yours down below in the comments because I really want to know what you guys have to say. I've seen a lot of mixed opinions and reviews about this. I just hope that Activision does come out very soon here and explain all the details about this because as a fan of the Black Ops series and of Treyarch 2, I just hope everything's okay with Von Dehar and, and the developers over at Treyarch. Um, but again, please send me thoughts, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all so, so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.